Hello and welcome to Tea Chats. I've been waiting for you. I'm your host, Alexander Paselski. I have a cup of tea with me. I suggest you pause the video, brew your own, and sip it with me as we chat about life. America has gained another victory in the ceaseless battle for freedom and all things that are good in this world. Yes, we have net neutrality. Congratulations, everybody. Round of applause. Uh, after years of debating, the FCC has finally decided not to give in to the cable companies that want to restrict internet speeds so that they can have more money. I think the person we have to thank for this is John Oliver, who made this video, and uh, it really brought the issues to the public's attention. Uh, thank you, John Oliver. I tip my fedora to you. <laughs> if you want to learn more about net neutrality, and if you still don't understand what it's about, then uh, click on the video because he does a really good job of explaining it. Uh, you know, it's kind of interesting to think about what would happen if he hadn't done this video, if he hadn't done this segment. Uh, would, would anybody still care about it? Or would the cable companies quietly take control of everything that we love and care about? and even overthrow the reptilian government. What if that already happened? I uploaded a video last week that announced this show, and I opened up the comments to start having some of our first conversations. This, this segment of the show is the meat of the show. It's, it's what it's about. It's about having the conversation between you and me. Uh, every episode, I'm going to take some comments from the previous tea chat, and then I'm going to talk about them. Then, just like a normal conversation, you're going to respond down below, uh, and you're going to respond to what I was talking about. Uh, for example, last week, Flaming Turd said, Why do you look so damn good in a bow tie? <laughs> and uh, so I saw that comment, I decided to feature it in the next episode, and now I respond with, I don't know, it just kind of suits me. Uh, if you happen to say, say you happen to know that uh, bow ties statistically make people look better, then you can just go down into the comments, point that out, and in the next episode, I could, I could say, hey, this person said bow ties make us look better. So why don't we all start wearing bow ties and become a fantastic race of beautiful bow tie sporting human beings? Uh, and then we all benefit from that. See how it works? On last week's announcement video, Anonymous John said, Why tea, Alex? Why tea? Coffee is clearly the superior caffeinated beverage. I don't know if you noticed this, Anon John, but uh, there is a clear tea theme going on with my channel. I do also have a bias towards tea. I think I prefer the bitter taste of tea to the bitter taste of coffee. Uh, tea has like a fresh, leafy, green taste to it, as opposed to coffee's kind of earthy stuff. I don't know. Why do you prefer tea, Anon John? What, which one do you prefer, viewer? Uh, why do humans like bitter stuff anyway? Is it something to do with our emotions? Let me know. Our last comment comes from Loud Guy up front. And it is a doozy of a comment. Uh, basically, I'm trying to paraphrase this. He asks, why is it that we put plastic sea life and seaweed and uh, sunken submarines or whatever in fish tanks? Why don't we simulate the natural predator versus prey environment that we'd see in the ocean? Sounds cruel, right? Well, then why do we humans uh, get enjoyment out of watching our own species struggle? Why do we enjoy watching humans get beat into a pulp on TV, uh, movies, and in professional fights? I mean, if we're so okay with that happening to us, then why don't we get en enjoyment out of watching animals kill each other? or, uh, you know, yeah, kill each other. Like, why is it that our zoos are not set up so that they have a big open space with lions on one side and giraffes on the other and zebras and stuff? And then, uh, you know, they, if, you, if you're gonna release those zebras into the wild, they have experience with predators. 
they have experience living with a, a predator, you know? But something about it, it seems so wrong. We we're like, oh my god, we can't do that. We can't put in a lion with a zebra. Except, you know, I don't know. Why is it that when, when something like that happens, everybody freaks out? But the moment that you watch somebody get shot through the heart on TV, or share a video of an ISIS beheading on Facebook, it seems fine. Like nobody, nobody blinks an eye about the violence. I mean, some people do care, um, but why not more? Why do, we, why do we just not care about violence to human beings? Why do we exalt animals over human beings in terms of violence against them? I'm sorry if that didn't come across to you guys. I hope it did. Uh, it's kind of a difficult thing to talk about, and uh, I like that idea that it's difficult because that's what I want to talk about on this show, is difficult things. Um, if you had a problem understanding what I was saying, just say so in the comments. Uh, also, you know, continue the conversations that we're having right now. Continue them down below. Leave a comment about what would happen if net neutrality uh, wasn't noticed by the public. What would uh, leave a comment about why I look good in a bow tie. Um, tell me why, which which is better, coffee or tea? Why is one superior over the other? Um, or you know, talk about why there's a huge discrepancy between our reaction to violence to animals and to violence to humans. Do you have a question that's been burning in the back of your mind, or something that you want to talk about with me? Then go ahead and leave a comment. Anything is welcome. If you're the only one there, then you have a 100% chance of being featured. Uh, I'll be down in the comments as well, you know, addressing things that I won't have time to address in the next video. Uh, and I just want you guys to remember to please be respectful of each other, and remember that everybody on the internet is a human being. Uh, except for, you know, like, the, the ones that aren't human beings. Thank you for watching the first episode of Tea Chats. I hope you enjoyed it. If you like the concept of the show, let me know and support it by leaving a like. If you fancy the idea of chatting with me over a cup of tea every week, then subscribe and I'll see you next Monday. Uh, I have a challenge for you, okay? If you have Photoshop or just basic photo manipulation skills, then, then grab a frame from this video edit it, and uh, send it to me on Twitter. My Twitter handle is right here, uh, and you know, it, I'll, I'll choose one. If, if somebody does it, I'll feature it in the next episode.